Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We have it straight from the horse's mouth. Yeah! Vitalik Buterin actually has said Ethereum is nearly unusable for many app types. That's right, people. Ethereum 2.0 this November is not going to solve any of your problems, so you must ditch those dreams. Too bad, suckers. In its current state, Ethereum is practically useless for many types of apps, says Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin. Ethereum is unusable for apps in its current form. This could remain the network status quo for years to come. That's right, people. Years to come. Until base scaling is achieved. For now, migrating to Layer 2 protocols is the only solution. Why don't you ask Bitcoin how Lightning integration is going after three years? Co-founder Vitalik Buterin wrote today that Ethereum is nearly unusable for many types of applications. And judging by the Ethereum 2.0 roadmap, this could be the case for many years to come. So this is a direct quote from Vitalik. The L1 is nearly unusable for many classes of applications and there's no non-L2 path that can get us to scalability in the short to medium term. So you're looking at long term. And L2 means layer two, which is kind of like Bitcoin Lightning. It's going to be very, very hard to near impossible to get everyone to adopt L2 to some extent. So his point is that it's difficult for the Ethereum blockchain itself to manage to hold the sheer amount of information and number of transactions currently being produced. This lack of space is, are, is already starting to manifest. It's actually manifested many, many times. Prices for gas, the fuel that keeps Ethereum network and its decentralized apps chugging along, have reached exorbitant highs of late. Butrin even addressed this point, noting that, the, that a prediction he made on decentralized prediction platform Uger last week cost a whopping $17.76 in transaction fees. Interesting, that is the number for America's independence. So maybe it's time for other platforms uh, for DeFi to be independent of Ethereum. While there is a big upgrade on the way called 2.0, a raft of scalability upgrades that will help blockchain itself process many more transactions using clever technology, the actual scaling improvements won't be fully ready for several years. My guess is four years. So if you want to wait until 2024, go right on ahead. If you don't, choose door two and go to another blockchain. The ETH2 roadmap offers scalability and, early, and the earlier phases of ETH2 are approaching quickly. But the base layer scalability for applications is the only is only coming as the last major phase of ETH2, which is still years away. That's right. You're on phase zero. You need phase two, phase three. That is at least two, three years off. And that is exactly what uh, Butrin said. He literally said it is still years away. And we know that Ethereum has never met even optimistic projections. It's actually failed even the uh, most like uh, the basically even the most pessimistic timeline. It's kind of like even dragged behind that. Hence, Butrin argued it's time for layer two. He advised leaning harder on layer two protocols such as ZK rollups, Matic, or as such. But like I said, ask Bitcoin how lightning adoption is going. That's where your picture of Ethereum uh, 2.0 layer two mass adoption is. However, a major problem remains. Users, Ethereum apps, and Ethereum name service domains currently occupy Ethereum layer one. So we can't really do anything about that. To scale along with Ethereum network, all these would need to migrate to the proposed Layer 2 solutions, rendering the current network effectively useless for apps in the time being, Butrin said. So Layer 2 solutions may be the only remedy in the meantime, but even that transition will be hard and will still take time. It's probably not going to happen. So there you have it. You, uh, if you're a developer, you really might want to think about building on other blockchains because Ethereum 2.0 uh, for apps is still years away, and Vitalik himself, himself has said that Ethereum is essentially unusable right now. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.